time now. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Miki. If you have already been here, welcome back. It's great to see you guys again. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing a makeup video. I'm so sorry, but that's not what I'm doing today. Today I am actually going to be making, as you can probably already tell from the title, breast milk jewelry. Some of you guys may already know I do have a toddler. He is 14 months old and he is my last baby. I will not be having any more children, so I'm kind of, you know, happy to have three happy, healthy children, but sad because, you know, this is the last of my baby days. Currently, I am breastfeeding my toddler. However, we won't be doing that for very much longer. I don't know how much longer. It's really up to him and we'll see. So I'm a little bit sad about going through the whole weaning process because he is my last one. Sorry if I get emotional. So to kind of, I guess, feel better about weaning, I decided maybe it might be helpful to have some kind of memorabilia or keepsake um, for that time, to represent that time. So I did find that you can make breast milk jewelry. I ordered a DIY kit through the mail. I ordered this on Etsy and I will be linking below the shop where I got this. If you guys are interested, there are other places where they will make the jewelry for you. But then I started worrying like, what if, you know, I send in my breast milk, but for whatever reason, they don't use my breast, breast milk. Like I can't, actually see them using it so I don't know if that's a concern some other people have but it's a concern that I had so I didn't want to do that but I thought you know making and having breast milk jewelry would help sorry would help with the process of weaning like mentally I'm sorry if I get sad because I am sad so I guess I'm just gonna open this up I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to tell you and kind of show you, you know, the steps involved. If maybe you are also interested in one day making breast milk jewelry, um, you know, I think it would be helpful. I also want to point out for other people that may be having a hard time with the weaning process that it is okay to feel sad. It is okay to mourn change you can still be grateful for what you have and sad at the same time that things are different or that they're going to be different and i just i want to tell anyone out there who's going through this that this process can be sad and that's okay to feel that way so i'm just gonna open up my package now okay so there's like a box and it's wrapped in bubble wrap Oh, it comes in a cute little box and it's got a little ribbon. I'm guessing this is the jewelry. And then there's two little bulbs. This kit I did like because it does have like a trial kind of um, thing if you like mess up. Or you can make two bulbs. That's kind of cool. And then here's the actual jewelry. So the bulb will just go right on there. And there it is up close. So the bulb is just going to go right there in the middle on top and it'll be like It'll look like a pearl. Okay, so this necklace is silver. Those little like crystal things, I'm guessing they're just crystals. It doesn't say on the website what it is, but it was $34.42 before shipping and then after shipping it was $46.07. So this is what else is in here. The instructions were actually sent to me via email. I think it's a video. There's a measuring cup. There's some kind of disc. There's like a little uh, temporary pipette. Looks like there's like backing for the jewelry. I don't know what this little ball thing is. There's also glue in here, which I did read some reviews and some of the, some people were complaining that the glue doesn't work great. And then there's like this little flashlight thing. And that's to like dry that glue. That's not bad. You get a lot for like your money. Okay, so yeah, they did send me a link for a DIY video. So that's what I'm going to watch right now. And then we are going to go through the process of creating this. This necklace also came with, I guess that bulb thing is 
like it's like a glow in the dark pendant which I mean that came for free so that's what that is I'll show you guys that in a second so this is like the glow in the dark pendant thing it's got this little stuff in the bottom like the glow in the dark and then you put the breast milk stuff in there okay so I've got my pan here and I'm going to be adding water to it it doesn't specify how much I need to turn the water on high and I'm going to be boiling this water. Next, I've got a little shallow dish that I'm just gonna lay in the water and this is where I'm going to me melt my solvent and then put the breast milk in. This is the breast milk and I'm going to get five milliliters of my breast milk. Water's starting to boil, so pretty soon I'm going to put the solvent in. Here's the solvent. I'm just gonna open that up, take it out of the bag, and I'm gonna put it in the little dish. That's gonna start melting, and as it's melting, I'm going to stir it around um, every once in a while. Once that's good and dissolved, I'm going to put in my breast milk. I'm just gonna pour that in there and I'm gonna stir that around. All right, here's the little bowl that I've got. After that's all melted, I'm going to take some and I'm going to start putting that in the little bowl. And it says to put it in there and then wait two minutes for it to settle. Mine didn't settle that much, so I am going to start um, kind of like tapping it on the edge of this metal spoon thing in a minute just to get any air bubbles out. It didn't quite work, but I'm trying anyways. I'm just filling that up all the way to the top. I'm going to set my timer for two minutes now. After two minutes, I'm going to refill it. And then I'm gonna tap it to get any excess air bubbles out. We're going to set this for two hours. Okay, it's been two hours and here's the result. Now we take our glue. We're gonna open up the glue. I'm going to place that in the necklace part and I'm going to put that bulb down in there. Kind of hold it on there. I did decide to put glue in the back too. Um, now I am shining a U the UV flashlight that was provided onto the bulb and you have to do this for three minutes. So here's the final product. I finished making this last night. It does have a few bubbles in it that I don't think is completely discernible through the camera, but I put the bubble on the bottom so you can't really see it that well. I mean, I can kind of tell, but I don't think it's that bad. I finally got the glue to stick. I'm hoping it'll stay on there, but I don't know. I decided I'm going to do an update in one, two, and three months just to see if there's any kind of discoloration going on or if it comes unglued. Um, I did read some reviews where they had to buy an additional glue to keep this on, but so far it's staying on. I don't have it on my neck right now just because my son, when he's breastfeeding, he always reaches up and grabs necklaces and he has the potential to break them. So. I'm not wearing it right now, but I will let you guys know in a month what it's looking like, if it broke, you know, what's going on with it. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.